This is the story of a boy with a strange new power. I had the craziest dream last night. Then it sort of came true. This is the story of a mysterious girl who appears in those dreams. We've been waiting a long time for you. You have? Who's we? This is the story of the people who are trying to make sense of it all. Is there a name for them? They're called Dream Breachers. Are they... dangerous? Dream Breachers. dreams for more than a decade. We must be sleeping on the job because we can't take your call right now. But do feel free to leave us a message and tell us about your dream. We catalog every dream we hear about and study them. So share yours with us in the name of science. Here comes the beep. Oh, um, my mom told me to call you and tell you about my dream. Last night, I dreamed I was skiing, and it turned out I was skiing down a mountain made of ice cream, and I just completely wiped out. So I popped off my skis and just sat there and started eating ice cream with my hands. And the ice cream wasn't cold under me or in my hands, but it was perfectly melty when I put it in my mouth. Then it got all weird and windy, like a storm was coming, and it started raining, except it wasn't rain, it was sprinkling. Get it? Like there were rainbow sprinkles falling from the sky? I caught some on my tongue. That's it, really. I woke up hungry. Hmm. Oh, that's not quite right. Ugh. <sighs> Evan. Oh. You going to bed already? Uh, yeah, Mom, I am. The sooner I go to bed, the sooner I wake up, and it's my birthday. <laughs> okay, then, I guess. So, <laughs> where are you hiding it? Hiding what? The dog I'm getting for my birthday. Oh, honey, we've talked about this, and I don't want you to be disappointed tomorrow, so let me be perfectly clear. Okay, they're Mom, I get it. No dog, because they're too much work and end up being your dog because you do all the work, and we'd never be able to go anywhere, and our lives would be ruined. <sighs> I'm going to bed now. <laughs> I'm serious, Evan. I know you are. Good night, Dad. But hang on. I'm coming up. <sighs> Good night, kiddo. Night, Dad. You really still use that noise machine? <sighs> yeah, I find it soothing. It actually <laughs> makes me pretty tired now when I turn it on. <sighs> Especially the white noise sound. <laughs> okay, then. Good night. Good night. Happy almost 12th birthday. Night, guys. They're going to get me a dog this year. I just know it. And next at the plate is newcomer Evan Rickert, who just signed one of the largest contracts in the history of the league. And here's the pitch. And a swing. And that one is going, going, going. Feet. What a way to start a major league career. This is a fun party, Evan. I had no idea you had so many friends. Or such an awesome pool. I'm so glad you could make it, Emmy. Hey, so Evan? What's that? And why is the ground shaking? It's a monster! It's an alien! It's a monster alien! It's gonna kill us all! What are we gonna do? Everybody calm down. I've seen this kind before. Somebody hand me a butter knife. Butter knife? Um, you're going to need more than a butter knife, Evan. That thing is huge! Trust me. Oh, there's a butter knife in my hand. Cool. Evan, no! Why is he clapping it? How is he holding on to that slimy thing? I can't watch. What's happening? I think he's jamming it in the eyeballs. Holy 
cow, Evan. That was crazy. You saved us, man. Evan's not afraid of anything. 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 Happy birthday, dear Evan. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. <laughs> Are you eight? Are you nine? Are you ten? Guys, it's just the three of us here. And we all know how old I am. Are you eleven? Are you twelve? <laughs> Happy birthday, Evan. Happy birthday, kiddo. We have a special gift for you. Come on out back. Out back? Wait, whose dog is that? Yours! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I can't believe it. You said you never wanted a dog, that they were too much work. Well, you wore us down. We know you'll really help with walking and feeding and well, it just felt like the right time. Her name is... <sighs> of course it was a dream. Eben, you up? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Evan, happy birthday to you. Thanks, Mom. But even the birthday boy needs to get moving or he'll be late. You sure you don't want to do anything to celebrate? Unless you got me a dog, no. Did you? Where is it? <sighs> we talked about this just last night. I know. I just, I had the most amazing dreams, Mom. Was it the dream where you were running away to join the circus again? <laughs> oh, wow, no. Haven't had that one in a while. In this, I was on a major league baseball team, and oh, there was an alien I killed, and we had a pool, and the best part was, you got me a dog. And... <laughs> wow! That sure is a lot of dreaming. Now, we're running a bit late, so chop chop. Dad rushed out already, but wished you a happy birthday, and I need to get to a meeting by eight. Some start to my birthday. How about I get a cake for later? Invite Marco for pizza? Okay, I guess. Great. We'll do presents then. And today, of all days, please don't let Will bother you. Steer clear of him if that's what it takes. Okay, Mom. I'll do that. Gotta go. Bye. And I don't know what you're doing with a butter knife in your room, but can you please bring it down to the kitchen? What am I doing with a butter knife in my room? Mom, are you getting that? Coming! Just need to find my jeans. I said I'm coming! I'm getting dressed! Oh, hey, Marco. Happy birthday! So? So? Did you get a dog? Where is he? <sighs> nope. No dog. Ugh. Sorry. Ugh. So sorry. I was sure this was going to be the year. Yeah, me too. But wait. Why are you here? Your mom actually texted me, and I quote, Hi, Marco. I'm counting on you to make sure Evan isn't late for school on his birthday. He's walking, so pick him up on your way. Okay, thanks. Bye. Oh, and come for pizza and cake at 6. Don't be late. Honestly, sometimes your mom scares me. Honestly? Same. My dad wanted you to have this. What is it? A special birthday lunch. Please tell me it's his enchiladas verdes con pollo. Yeah, we're going to have to work on that. But yes, it's enchiladas verdes con pollo. Awesome. Hang on. I just need to grab my backpack. <sighs> okay, let's go. So, what did you get? Uh, doing presents later. Makes sense. So maybe there will still be a dog. They seem pretty solid on the no. Maybe they got me a phone. The only thing I want almost as much as a dog is to be free of the landline. Oh, who knows? <laughs> but at least I dreamed I got a dog. Well, that's fun. What kind of dog was it? A sandy, brown and gray, super soft-looking mid-sized mutt. It's, it's so weird. Like, she seemed familiar? Like, I knew her, or more like she knew me. Oh, and there was a party, and Emmy was there. What about me? Was I there? Not that I remember, but I mean, it's not like I'd ever have a party without you. And there was an alien that I think had, like, three eyes and four tails, if I'm remembering right. You always have the best dreams. Mine are also super boring. Like, I dream I get up and get ready for school. Then wake up and have to do it all over again. 
Your dreams are always epic, like movies. I, I know, video, right? Yeah. Look who it is, you guys. What happened? Lil Evan's mommy couldn't drive him to school today? Leave him alone, <laughs> Will. Dude, you're just not built to play bodyguard. Anyway, I hope you're both prepared to lose big time today. Lose what? Just the singles volleyball tournament in gym. Oh, right. Well, one of us could maybe win. Yeah, sure. In your dreams. See you there. Oh, this whole day is going to be garbage. I can feel it. No, it'll be great. Trust me. Yeah, we'll see, I guess. I really hope you pull your grade up with this test, Evan. Highly disappointing. As of today, we're officially doubling down on homework, so be prepared for a lot more work in days to come. Hey, make sure to tell your dad thanks for the delicious lunch. No! Oh, that fell on the floor after I had like two bites. Two heavenly bites. Yes! I told you you were gonna lose, loser. Okay, play nice, Will. Hi. You've reached the Rickert family landline. No one's home. Leave a message and maybe we'll remember to check this ancient relic of a machine or try us on one of our cells instead. Thanks. Evan? You home from school yet? Hello? Hello? Pick up? Ugh. Anyway, sorry kiddo. I'm gonna be stuck at work late. Even though it's Friday and your birthday, we have had a bit of a crisis, so I'm so sorry. I really hope you had a great day. I'll tell Marco we'll do pizza another time. Gosh. I still get a little weepy on your birthdays when I think back to the year you were so sick. But anyway, I'll see you later. I love you. And I'll make it up to you this weekend, okay? You know what we need? A vacation, am I right? Maybe somewhere tropical. Hello? Hey, your mom texted me. Sorry tonight's not gonna work out. Yeah, me too. Honestly, I just want this day to be over. I mean, I just ate cold leftovers alone on my birthday. The worst. Devin, you home? Oh, my dad's home. I gotta go. Wanna go to the arcade in the morning? Sure. I'll pick you up on my way. I'm upstairs! I'm coming up. I'm so sorry. Your mom told me to get a cake, but the bakery was closed by the time I got there. What about the dog shelter? Was that closed too? Hey, don't be like that. Sorry. You know, we're just not sure it's right for our family. And well, here. Here's a little something from me. Your mom has another gift for you, but wants to give it to you herself. Thanks, Dad. Oh, cool, Dad. Is it a journal? Yeah. I thought you could, you know, write down your dreams when you have good ones. Since you seem to have so many of them, every night, your whole life, unlike anyone I've ever known. Thanks, Dad. That's, that's a really good idea. You could start right now. You know what, Dad? I'm really tired. I'm just going to read and then go to bed. Okay, then. Did you eat? Ugh, meatloaf. Sorry. We'll have pizza and cake tomorrow. <sighs> sure. Good night, Evan. Good night, Dad. <sighs> I don't even feel like reading. <sighs> Maybe just a few pages. I better have some good dreams after that nightmare of a day. And the weekend better be awesome. Okay, lights out.
Kevin, why don't you go check out the kids' club and make some new friends? Because we're on vacation. Vacation doesn't mean just sitting around the pool all day. Actually, it does. That's exactly what vacation means. Anyway, I'm reading. L Luna? E Evan, where are you going? Luna, is that you? <laughs> it is. Good girl, you found me. I was looking for you. And, and how do I know your name? What is it? What's wrong? Step away from the dog. What? Why? I said to step away from the dog. Luna, we gotta get out of here. But I'm pretty sure this is a dream. Oh, I really don't want to leave you, but ugh, you're not real. I wish you were. I wish I could take you home with me. Hey, what are you doing with my dog? Talking to. Oh. And whose dog is that? Uh, I'm uh, I'm dog sitting. Since when? Well, a, a friend needed help. Uh, but that the dog wasn't here last night. I I hid her in the closet. I wasn't oh. I wasn't sure you guys would let me since you made it pretty clear you don't want a dog. Huh. What's going on, guys? Evan is apparently dog sitting this. Rather cute dog. Oh, she is really cute. But it's just for the day, I hope. Just just until um later, yeah. Maybe tomorrow? I'll find out. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. Luna, come on. I'll get dressed and we'll go see Marco. Not so fast. Wh why? What's wrong? You never got to open my present. Here. Oh, thanks, Mom. It feels like a book. Just open it. It is a book. The Interpretation of Dreams by Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud. Thanks. It's like the most famous book about dreams ever. And you have so many interesting dreams that you might want to, I don't know, make sense of. Well, I just thought you... It's a great present, Mom. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody needs a walk. Okay, go. Go. Have fun. Hi, Dorian. I'm leaving for the arcade. Okay, Filho. But I need you home in like 45 minutes. You barely have time. I don't mind. Manda abraço pro Ivan. Hey, Evan. My mom says hi. Holy cow. Or pig flying? You got a dog? Uh, she's not mine. I don't understand. Who's then? <laughs> You're not gonna believe me. Try me. Well, remember how I dreamed about a dog who seemed familiar the other night? <sighs> she turned up again in last night's dream, and there was sort of this scary dude yelling at me to get away from her. I remember really wanting to take her home with me, and then I woke up and she was just there. In my room. Whoa. Right? Dude. I know. And yesterday, I dreamed about a butter knife, and there was one on my night table in the morning. Mind blown. Like I might have to sit down. Well, sit down once we get to the dog park. We can't exactly bring Luna to the arcade. Oh, yeah. Okay. Your name's Luna? I think so. Hey, did you also dream you brought home a million dollars? Because that would be a dream I could get behind. <laughs> Quit joking. This is seriously messed up. Sorry, I just... Wow. So, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, it's somebody's dog, right? So they're probably pretty upset and looking for her. Hmm, I just... I, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just a dog I made up. 
But there was this girl. Speaking of which, look, Emmy is here with Rudy. Oh, cool. But yeah, in the dream, there's this girl saying, What are you doing with my dog? I think. So I guess Luna is her dog. It's all so fuzzy, like I only remember bits and pieces of it. So tonight, you'll just find the girl and give her back her dog. How exactly am I supposed to do that? I don't know. You're the one who brought a dog back out of your dream. And seriously, now that I'm thinking about it... What? What if you could bring back a million dollars? Sure, Marco. I'll do that, because people just leave millions of dollars just lying around. Emmy, hey! Hey, Emmy. Hey, Rudy. Who's got a million dollars lying around? Aw, hey, Rudy. Oh, nobody. We're just talking about dreams and how real they can feel. Speaking of which, this is Luna. She's so cute. Oh, hi, Luna. Hi, Luna. Your parents finally came? Amazing! Oh, she's not mine. I'm just dog-sitting. Sorry, but... Wait. Dog-sitting for who? Oh, um... Just... Uh, I... Evan, uh, why do you look like you're about to swallow your own tongue? Um... Brr. Just tell her. She's the one of us who's most likely to have any idea of why or how this can be happening. Tell me what? <sighs> well... Oh, I had the craziest dream last night, and then it sort of came true. This dog, Luna, she was in the dream, but now she's here. Ha ha ha. It's not April Fool's Day, guys. It's... it's not a joke. Uh-huh. It's really not. Shoot, my mom wants me to start heading back home already. Talk later? Sure. It's pretty wild when you think about it. What do you mean? You sort of got a dog for your birthday, after all. We catalog every dream we hear about and study them, so share yours with us in the name of science. Here comes the beep. Oh, hi. Uh, there was a band in the 80s called the Dream Academy, and I was Googling them because I couldn't think of the name of their big hit, and you came up and I thought I'd call and tell you about the worst dream I ever had. I dream there was a piece of wood, like imagine the smooth handle of an old-fashioned kettle, in my back, like moving under my skin. So I reached into this slit in my skin, under my arm, yeah, you heard that right, and was able to pull it out. Ugh. I feel like that is a messed up dream, so I'm telling you about it in the name of science. Um... Should we sit while the dogs run around? Sure. They seem to like each other, Rudy and Luna. They do. So, seriously, Evan, where do you get her? Whose dog is she? I know how crazy it sounds, believe me. But it's true what I said. I dreamed about her and now she's here. Has anything like this ever happened to you before? Only once, just the other night. I dreamt I killed a sort of monster alien with a butter knife, and when I woke up, there was a butter knife in my bedroom. Evan, that's crazy. I know. I just, I don't even know what to say. But this is weird. What? Okay, whatever you do, don't turn around. Like, do not even think about turning around. But there's a creepy man on a bench over there, and he doesn't appear to have a dog. Maybe he just likes dogs in general. But he's not even looking at the dogs. They're over there running around, and he's watching us. <sighs> You're probably just imagining it. I'm gonna turn around nice and- No! Do not turn around! <laughs> hey, here come Luna and Rudy now. He's freaking me out. Who dresses like that except bad guys in movies? All in black? And why is he wearing sunglasses? It's not even sunny out. Wait, what? I had a dream about a guy dressed like that. He... he was in the dream where I found Luna. So, um, Evan? Yeah? He's coming over. Well, now I'm definitely turning around. <gasps> oh, wow. That's... that's him. The guy from your dream? Uh-huh. How is that possible? That's a uh, beautiful dog you've got. Uh, th thanks. How long have you had her? Not, not long. 
I know a girl who has a dog who looks exactly the same. Like, has the same exact patch of white right there on her chest. <laughs> well, that's a funny coincidence. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's your dog's name? Um, uh, Trixie. Huh. Fascinating. See, this girl's dog is, is named Luna. Do you have a dog, sir? I do not. You just like to go to dog parks? <laughs> well, uh, something like that. Anyway, I'll be going now. Um, unless maybe you want to let me take care of Trixie for you. Uh, having a dog is a huge responsibility, even under the best circumstances. No. He's good. Trixie stays. Yeah. Uh, well, be sure to take very good care of her. Uh, of course. Um, so that was weird. Weird doesn't even begin to cover it. Tell me more about this dream. Did it feel like a bad dream when you were having it? Because when you have a bad dream, you can summon Baku. I can what? Who? Well, you know my grandmother lived most of her life in Japan, right? Of course. You you showed me pictures of her town, with that volcano right across the bay. You remember? Yes, the volcano is Sakurajima. I would not like to live next to a volcano. She didn't either. Used to have nightmares about it erupting. She told me about a myth that a person who wakes up from a bad dream can call out to this powerful creature called Baku. Baku? Yes, Baku. You repeat a sort of chant, and legends say that Baku will come into the room and eat the bad dream, and then you can go back to sleep. You say, Baku-san, come eat my dream. I mean, that's the translation. For real? Supposedly. I had bad dreams when I was little, and sometimes my grandmother would summon Baku with me, like her mother used to do with her. And it always made it easy for me to go back to sleep. That, Mika Watanabe, is some potentially very handy information. You, Evan Rickert, are most welcome. Ugh, what do I do, Emmy? I mean, I can't keep her. You go to sleep tonight and give her back. Then we try to figure out what's happening. Ugh, you make it sound so easy. Maybe it is. And that is a grand slam by Manuel Rodrigo. <laughs> nice. Oh, what I miss. A rookie with a solid hit. Ooh. Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna go hit the hay. You feel okay? You're going to sleep pretty early these past few nights. And now you're gonna go right in the middle of the game? Yeah, I'm good. Must just be tired from playing with Luna all day. Okay then. You were out in the yard for hours, you two, so sweet dreams. I sure hope so. What do you mean? Nothing. <laughs> I just mean, good night. Love you. Thanks for letting me dog sit. <laughs> Love you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Love you. There's no way this is going to work, Luna. But we have to try. And there was no way that the man at the dog park was the guy I dreamed about last night, right? Okay, I'm talking to a dog. And expecting a response. I just need to give you back. Oh, then I'll be fine. I'll give you back and everything can go back to normal. Even if normal's gonna be worse now because I'll miss you. <sighs> All right, Luna, you with me? Here we go. Time to sleep, Luna. Time to sleep. We're gonna try to go right back to the spot where I found you, okay, girl? Hopefully that man won't be there. Can you help? I want to bring you home. Well, that didn't work, because I'm pretty sure you don't live on the back lot of a racetrack. Ah! Luna, where's home? Show me home. No, don't get in that car. It's not ours. I can't even drive. Whoa, okay, so I know how to drive. Ah! Luna, buckle up. I mean, I 
know you're a dog and you probably don't know how to do that, but it's a dream, so... Wait, how do I even know that I'm dreaming? You know what? I've just got to pull over. I can't do that, right? It's my dream. Come here, Luna. At a girl. Oh, it's nice to see you too. Good girl. I missed you. We've been waiting a long time for you. You have? Who's we? Where are we? Same beach as last time. You don't remember? I... I don't remember. Yeah, you need to go home. Until you know more. And Luna needs to stay. But I am home. I'm asleep in my bed. You know what I mean. You should leave before you... It's my dream. You're the one who should leave. That's not how it works. Then tell me how it works. There's no time. Your alarm's about to go off. But I just went to bed. It feels that way, but it's been hours. Trust me. Give me your phone. I don't have a phone. You do now. Wait, what? Where did you get that? I dreamed it. And I'm putting a phone number in it. You should call it. Anna, don't interact with him. Okay, but what... Ugh. Ugh. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, y- y- oh, yeah. Oh, I'll be right down. Luna? Luna? Oh, good. At least one thing went right. <sighs> What's that? Oh, whose phone is this? Oh, my gosh. Evan! One second! Oh. Can't be. And there's a number saved. <sighs> I'm just gonna call it. It's probably not even a real number. Dream Academy, this is Naya. How can I help you? Uh, Dream Academy? Anybody there? Sorry, uh, wrong number. Oh, wait! Oh, what the heck is the Dream Academy? And how did a girl I only dreamed of, whose dog I somehow brought into reality and then back into a dream know about it? Maybe they have answers. Maybe they can help me understand. Evan? Can you please tell me why there's a sports car parked in our driveway? Are they here for the dog? What? That's not possible! That is one sweet looking ride. Want to hear more? Subscribe to Pinna to listen to all the episodes, plus a ton of other awesome podcasts, audiobooks, and more. With content added daily, there is always something new to discover. Go to Pinna.fn. That's P-I-N-N-A dot F-N to start a free trial today.